Alright, so today in Photoshop, we're going to go ahead and learn how to create um, realistic looking water drops. So any images that you may have, such as this leaf texture that we did in a previous tutorial, we're going to add a new layer and create water drops. Okay, so if you have this file, go ahead, or any image you want to work with, um, create a new layer. And to do that, it's this little uh, image right here, or you can use shift Control n to create a new layer. Once again, that shift control and the letter in and we're gonna go ahead and name this layer water and we're gonna leave all the defaults so click OK and now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, grab our brush tool over here let's choose a smaller brush size over here so here's the brush tool um, it's just going to depend on your image. Um, for this case, I'm gonna, for this photo, I'm going to be using size about 30 pixels with a hardness of 100%. And I'm going to change the brush color to black, so that's the color it needs to be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do start drawing just some water drops, you know. Uh, however, I can get them to look maybe just some spots or whatever. All right. And now I'm going to go to filter distort and I'm gonna go to wave and wait for that to come up and with the wave I'm just gonna mess with a couple of settings here see if I can get my water drops to look any better than what they are kind of like a scattered mess and you can kind of uh, play with this as much as you want until you get the watery look that you like so there's some water on my leaf right now and now what I need to do is I actually need to open the layer styles on here. Well, how do I do that? I can right click and I can go to layer prop, not layer properties, excuse me. Let's see if I can find it here. Well, I'm going to actually just click over here to the right. And this is going to bring up uh, layer styles. That's what I want. And with my layer styles, what I need to actually do is I actually need to change some settings on here. Um, for instance, I'm going to add a uh, drop shadow, and I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing really quick. Click OK on that for now. I need to change the blending mode to screen so I can actually see what I'm working with. Alright, and as you see, you got some water looking drops coming up on your image. Okay, so I added a drop shadow, and I can change the angle uh, that the shadow is casting if I use uncheck global lighting that applies to the just the water. I'm also going to apply a bevel and emboss and right there look there goes my water drop starting to develop and any other settings you'd like to add you can but that's really all you need is bevel and emboss and a drop shadow and that water actually looks pretty good. I can click OK and if I don't want the water to be as strong or I can go ahead and go to the opacity on this layer the water layer and I can just drop it down a bit and that will make it a lot less uh, vivid. So there are some water drops on my leaves and uh, like I said on this layer, now that I have this layer style I can just start drawing and it creates water and then I just go to wave. So that's just a really simple way to create realistic water drops in Photoshop. Um, just adding a drop shadow and a bevel and emboss. So let's go ahead and cover that again and that will allow you to create water drops in Photoshop.